Hi, welcome to my intro to geology video. I'm naturalist Erica with the East Bay Regional Park District. So geology is the study of the earth and from the younger uplifted hills to active fault zones, there are many geologic surprises to be found. We are lucky to have some of the most interesting geology in the world found right here in the Bay Area. To understand all of that, it will help to start by breaking down the layers of the earth itself. Let's build our earth together, starting from the inside. The inner core is the center of our planet, where it is super hot, and it's made up mostly of iron, which acts as a solid. So it doesn't move. However, as Earth cools, the inner core grows about one millimeter per year. The next layer is the outer core, made up of liquid iron and nickel constantly moving and flowing against each other. And this movement creates Earth's magnetic field. Outside of the outer core lies the mantle, which consists of red-hot magma, melted rocks, which is very fluid, like melted chocolate. And this is what our last layer, the crust, actually floats on. Finally, the crust is the surface that we live on. It's made up of lots of different types of rocks, and geologists categorize all rocks into three different rock types. So let's Our first rock type is igneous, which form from liquid magma deep within the mantle layer of the earth. And sometimes the magma is able to find its way through cracks within the crust layer. Sometimes as the magma builds up, it can explode through volcanoes. The volcanic rocks are sometimes found in the Bay Area along the San Andreas Fault. Sibley Volcanic Regional Preserve is filled with basalt from an eruption that occurred millions of years ago. Check out this piece of what's called vesicular basalt. The second rock type is metamorphic, and two things must happen to form this type of rock. The first is heat, and the second is pressure. Many of the areas within our East Bay are what we call serpentine hills because because they're filled with the rock serpentinite, which has a very waxy or soap-like texture to it. Another rock type is sedimentary, which forms from the buildup of sediments like sand and mud. Layer by layer, these sediments build up on top of each other then, with a lot of time and pressure pushing down on them, they eventually form rocks. Sometimes plants and animals die and get preserved in these layers as fossils. All of these different rock types play an important role in deciphering the clues to the Bay Area's ancient past. As part of this geologic series, stay tuned for more lessons on plate tectonics, faulting, and fossils. Thanks so much for joining me, and in the meantime, check out our website, 